If you want to use your Sleepy Nico baby carrier with cross straps to make a large X on your back, the first thing that you need to do is configure your carrier so that the straps are open, which means they're not connected um, to the body panel. So both straps should be open with the buckle reasonably close to the end of the strap so you can grab it easily. You can click your waistband around your torso and then pick up your baby and position them in a seated position against your chest so that the carrier can support them from the back of the knee to the back of the knee. Once they're there, you can scoop the panel up onto their back, making sure they've got support up to the back of the ear, and place this open strap with the dangly end onto my shoulder, taking care not to twist. Swapping hands on your baby, holding them close against your body, you can do exactly the same thing on the other side. And what you'll end up with is two long dangly ends behind you. So with one hand firmly on baby's body, you can reach behind you and grab the opposite strap and pull it down towards the ground round to the side to find its buckle mate and click it into place just there you can give it a few small backwards tightens if you want to one of the best tips when you're reaching for the strap is not to lean because if you lean it gets further and further away from you if you're struggling to find it place your hand on your back and all you need to do is just lean forwards and the strap will come to your hand so pull it down towards the ground and bring it round to the side, find its buckle mate, click it into place and again when you're tightening lift your baby from underneath, pull that strap forwards and then back a few small movements and you should have a nice secure feeling carry that keeps the weight transferred around your torso and offering support from the back of the knee to the back of the knee and all the way up to the back of the ear.